So we all know the ban list is coming, right? And we know that it's gonna make some pretty drastic changes in today's metagame. We're in a tier zero format right now where fire is clearly the best deck, but there are some really powerful rogue decks as well that are competing in today's format. And the thing that I personally love about ban list is it always checks the best decks in the format, but it also helps a lot of these rogue tier decks out. So with that being said, let's get right into my ban list predictions for the April 2024 TCG and how it can affect today's metagame and make things a lot more fun. All right, so just before we get into today's tier list, I do want to talk about something real quick. So the OCG ban list, funny enough, dropped today as well while I was planning this video. This ended up dropping and it's effective April 1st. And I kind of wanted to show you guys the OCG ban list. Now, honestly, I'm not going to talk about my takes on this. I think it's kind of weird. SP to 2, I... I honestly don't know what the OCG is doing. I'm going to be real with you, but there's one card specifically that I want to talk about, and that is Summon Sorceress. Now, Summon Sorceress is not on the ban list anymore, and people might be like, why not? It's That's crazy. It's such a broken card. Well, that's because it actually got an errata, which pretty much locks you into the type that you're summoning with Summon Sword. And on top of that, the monster that you're summoning to your opponent's side of the field has its effects negated, and I don't think the TCG is going to get that errata right away. If it does get that errata, I feel like this card can come back in the TCG on the next ban list. I don't think we're going to have that errata in time for the next ban list so that's why i'm not going to be including summon sorceress but keep in mind this is definitely a card that could come off the ban list assuming that uh we get the errata here in the tcg but i do want to talk about what i think is going to get banned in the next ban list and what's going to get hit and what's going to come back and all this good stuff so let's get right into it first of all my face cam's all the way up here. I wanted to make room for you guys so you guys can see the cards. But let's get into it. The first card I want to talk about is Original Sinful Spoil. Ban. Gone. Has to be gone. I don't want to see this card anymore. This card is absolutely insane. It really is what enables a lot of the fire combos. If they're able to get to the Original Sinful Spoil, this is pretty much how they're going to be able to go through all their combos and be able to extend a lot further. Now, obviously, fire is the most powerful deck in the format, and it's probably going to be the deck that gets hit the most on the next ban list. But this is the only card, funny enough, that I want banned. Like, I know that there are other good decks, but I don't think there's any other cards in the game right now that are ban worthy outside of original sinful spoil if you're able to ban this card snake eye is still a playable deck however its ceiling is going to drop down very very significantly and that's why original sinful spoil needs to get banned gone i don't want to see it anymore bye bye okay but now is that all they're going to do for fire I actually think they might do one or two more things to fire what I think is personally going to happen is one of two things either snake eye ash gets limited or wanted gets limited i don't think it's going to be both there's no way it's both i think it's one or the other personally i think ash getting limited makes the most sense however i could see konami doing uh wanted as a limited card as well for the deck i think there are going to be two hits to the deck and whether it's original sinful spoils banned and uh, one of these limited or both of these limited and nothing banned that is a potential as well but i think there has to be two hits to fire and in my books this honestly makes the most sense if you just ban original sinful spoil and you limit ash or you limit wanted now there are so many different ways to hit fire i've seen people talk about banning link karibo because link karibo enables a lot of their plays as well getting their populace to the graveyard and then using the link karibo summoning back at the sp and all that kind of stuff i understand that i just think that's collateral damage that's what they did to a assault core when the firewall otk was a thing or ftk i should say and you know did a assault core ever need to go to one no never but they did that right so that's just kind of what i mean by i don't want the collateral stuff i just want the cards that need to be hit get hit the decks that need to be adjusted get adjusted right another option that i actually don't have on here is uh kirin the fire king card but uh, if kirin goes i think people just end up playing pure snake eye anyway so the best deck so for that reason i think this has to get banned and i think either ash or wanted goes to one it's one or the other it's not both of them it's one or the other now what else are we going to talk about on this ban list? Truthfully, I think this format's pretty fun. So what I actually think is I think a lot of cards need to come off the ban list. One card specifically I think is Unicorn over here. Magic Spectre Unicorn it is a very, very powerful card. It's not absolutely broken in today's format anymore. It's just a bounce. It's a, it's a really good card. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's a bad card. But it's not one of those overly powered cards anymore. And I think with Magic Spectre getting its new support, it just makes a lot of sense for Kieran to come back. Kieran coming back does buff the deck a lot. And that deck is really fun to play, honestly. It is still a rogue tier deck, of course. You're probably not going to see that deck win any regionals or any YCSs and I don't think it's going to do that with Kieran back either so I think it makes a lot of sense to bring Kieran back give that deck a little bit of a boost a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun playing it it is a budget deck as well so one of those really cool cards that I think can come off the ban list and in general Pendulum hasn't really been that good so if a Pendulum deck is able to play the Kieran then you know like I don't mind this coming back I don't think it's going to break any decks I don't think it's going to break the format I think it's a very fun and fair card to be coming back off the ban list and coming to one would be very powerful as well right so the one Unicorn Kieran now speaking of cards coming off the ban list list a dryden 
Dryden needs to come back to one. I think this card is super fun. It makes Zodiac playable. I don't think the deck is absurdly broken. I don't think this card is crazy broken either. I think this is just a really cool card that you guys can be playing in today's format that won't necessarily break the format. And I'm a big believer in formats like these ones where it's kind of wide, right? Like right now we have a tier zero format with fire, but assuming fire gets hit, then we have a pretty wide format, right? And I don't think decks like Voices, Voice and all that needs to get hit. And I'm a big believer on bringing cards back that make decks viable, make decks playable again. I think that's a really fun way to build this kind of wide format assuming fire gets hit and so i think zodiac dryden makes a lot of sense because bringing this card back means that you guys can play zoo it's a fun deck it's a fun you know fair way to play the game that's not absurdly broken and i don't see this card doing too much damage in today's metagame now the last card i want to talk about it needs to come off i think it's the last one that's not off title title coming back to one would be so fun i feel like there would be so many cool things to do with this card dragon link arm dragon funny enough the dragon ruler stuff in general is just really cool the fact that you can play dragon ruler is uh really nice i think horus is an engine that people consider playing with dragon ruler as well there was a couple other engines i can't remember exactly but dragon rulers bring this card back to one have some fun you know what what's the worst that can happen right i also, i honestly don't think anything crazy would happen if this came back to one i think redox came off on the glass ban list and absolutely nothing happened right so if this card comes back to one very much a very fun card that if they bring it back people can experiment with and people can have fun with and that's what i personally believe the balance like this like where there's only really one broken deck like i feel like you just have to bring cards back to make the game more fun and enjoyable again right so title coming back to one as well would be really cool now semi-limited that's what i'm going to be talking about change of heart change of hearts at one it's not being played mind control is not being played and mind controls at three i think this coming back to two is very much a possibility in the game i think it creates a little bit of hype now does it create a situation where people are going to be playing this it, they're not playing it already like no one's playing it now I don't think they're going to be playing it later either. So change of heart coming back to two. I can see that going from one to two and then maybe eventually back to three. Actually, funny enough, I'm pretty sure on the OCG ban list over here, it did come back to three, right? Yeah, it came back to three in the OCG, right? So I feel like it could come back to three in the TCG as well. But, you know, I know what Konami likes to do in the TCG specifically goes from one to two to three. So that could happen as well. Now, a card that I actually think should be on the ban list is Prosperity. Now, Prosperity, all the pot cards, if you think about it, all of them have gone from three to either one or two at one point. Of course, Pot of Greed is still banned. But uh, Prosperity. Prosperity is a really cool card that pretty much every single deck in the game plays. And it's just one of those really powerful consistency cards that's just generic and really easy to get off. Any deck can play it. You have so many possibilities and options with Prosperity. So I feel like this is a card that right now is at three everyone's pretty much playing it at three and konami if it wants to hit the consistency of you know decks in general not necessarily the meta decks but decks in general this is a card that they can hit to two now does it make sense to do it i don't know if it makes sense to do it to be honest with you however i'm gonna be real with you i could see it happening and that's why i'm predicting it not because i personally believe that this should happen but because i actually can see it happening and very much uh you know believe konami is capable of doing something like this where they're like hey we want to hit the consistency and the ceiling of some decks so to do that we're gonna hit prosperity they're not gonna be able to draw pros every single turn for turn one and then do all those different things right so prosperity to two i could see that happening now this one <laughs> This one is not something I'm predicting, more so that it's something I'm hoping for. Miscellaneous source back to two. Please bring it back. Konami, bring it back. Dinos for life. We want to play Dino. Miss back to two. Let's just make it happen. Honestly, I have no take with this. I think Dino has been a rogue tier deck for a very long time. It's a deck that has a lot of cool cards and it's very fun to play, but it's not very good. And Miscellaneous coming back to two, I think would make the deck a little bit more hype, make the deck a little bit more playable. I understand that this card is really broken. Don't get me wrong. I'm a Dino player. I know, I know how powerful this card can be, but I still think this card is really, really powerful and coming back to two would make it really fun for today's format. Again, not a game breaking thing. And keep in mind, all of these things that I've done so far, like if you're looking at this ban list right here, right? Nothing here is game breaking. Is there so much of really cool things that you guys can integrate in today's format? So uh, I think Miss coming back to two, make it happen, Konami. I want it to happen. You know you want it to happen too. Let's make it happen. All right, lastly, Unlimited, Lightning Storm. Why did this card go to two? I don't even know. I never knew why this card went to two. It didn't really make sense to me. I think this card is cool. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a very powerful card, Lightning Storm, but it never made sense why it went to two. Let's just bring it back to three. Call it a day. People are going to forget about it. This coming back to three is not going to make people all of a sudden be playing it. It's not really a card that's seeing play right now. I don't think it's really going to be a card that's going to say play even if it came back to three right away. There might be formats where it's absolutely broken, but right now, just not the format for it. So I think this card can definitely come back to three. But that's really it. Look at this. It's a very, very small blindness prediction. Like, it's nothing crazy. I'm not expecting voices to get hit. I'm not expecting branded to get hit because people always talk, oh, oh. Oh, gimmick puppet, gone. That has to be gone. Where's the picture for that? <laughs>
All right, we're back. Gimmick Puppet Nightmare has to go. I couldn't find a good picture of it. I just did this real quick. But Gimmick Puppet Nightmare, I don't want to see no more puppet locks, all right? Brandon won't get hit other than that, though. So uh, this is the ban list. Now look at it. This is the perfect ban list right over here that I think should happen. Branded again, like I said, voice is voice. All those decks, I don't think they're going to get hit. If anything, I think they're going to make it a really wide format because Konami does have these uh, stages where they go from tier zero to wide to tier zero to wide. We had tier limit for a while, got a little bit wide, went back to tier zero. Let's go back to a wide format. I think that's kind of what's going to happen. That's kind of what the trend is looking like so for that reason i think this ban list makes a lot of sense the really the only deck that you're actually hitting is fire by banning the sinful spoil and then either limiting ash or limiting wanted i don't think both are going to happen it's going to be one or the other to be honest with you if i could see it happening it might be ash because agob is getting reprinted in the tins and they might want to reprint wanted so i could see this happening i could see this happening over here but that's that's really it that's all i really got to say i think that's what the ban list should look like i think it makes a lot of sense for the ban list to kind of not be too crazy we don't need to see too many cards getting banned or getting hit if anything i think this is the kind of ban list where we need to see more cards coming out because it makes the decks and the meta game a lot more fun and a lot more wide and a lot more variety versus right now it's just a tier zero format now if you guys have any other options or any other suggestions for what you guys want to see on the ban list let me know in the comment section down below and then of course this is how we get better together as a community talk about different options talk about different things that could happen in and kind of see where the metagame can shift to right and if you guys disagree with anything i said let me know as well you guys don't really got to be mean about it though but let me know if you guys disagree with anything that i said and then you know we can have a conversation that's the, honestly just one of the most fun parts about doing these bandless videos so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we upload seven days a week here on the channel literally every single day you guys get five shorts a week and then you guys are gonna get two long videos sometimes even three long videos so you guys might get even eight videos in a single week so make sure you guys subscribe stay tuned and follow that thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that thank you signing out peace